New research has sparked debate about what age is too young to leave our kids unsupervised at home. Where's the balance in saying, well, you can walk to school by yourself, but you can't stay at home for 10 minutes while I duck out and get sugar, for example? Madonna King is a busy working mum. She reckons her seven and nine-year-old are nearly old enough to stay at home alone while she's off running errands. It is one topic my husband and I don't see eye to eye on. I see no problem in leaving my children for two minutes in eyesight to go and pay petrol. A government study found one in five children are left at home alone several times a week. And now an old Oxfam survey has revealed that almost half of Australian mums are happy to leave their kids under the age of 12 unsupervised at home. The biggest reasons were work commitments, rising childcare costs and having no one available to look after them. A parent is in the best position to determine at what age their child can stay at home and whether it's good for them. In general, there are no laws stating what age children can or can't be left alone. In Queensland, however, enforcement is tougher and leaving a child under 12 for a reason reasonable amount of time is considered a criminal misdemeanour and can carry a maximum three-year jail term. The obligation for, on parents is to ensure that children are adequately supervised and that they're safe. So the question for parents is, does my child have the supervision that they need to stay safe? So when is it safe to leave kids at home alone? Dr Justin Coulson is a parent and coach and father of five uh, who hopefully aren't home alone right now. <laughs> uh, Justin, what age is too young to leave a child at home? Yeah, wouldn't it be great if there was uh, this magic number where when kids got to a certain age we could say, all right, you're done, you're fine, uh, we, can, we can leave you and you'll be safe. Unfortunately, context matters. It's just not as simple as saying, well, once they're eight or ten or twelve or whatever, we can, we can leave them alone. It's such a grey area for parents as well. Should it be illegal to leave kids at home unsupervised uh, or, or just unsupervised full stop? Well, it's a tough question, isn't it? Um, if we make it illegal, I think that we can end up putting a lot of parents and a lot of children, pa parents who are really well-meaning, into some difficult situations. What I think we need to focus on is keeping our children safe. And the best way to do that is not necessarily to worry about enforcing these kinds of uh, potential laws, but instead to make sure that we're educating parents. Making things legal isn't the panacea, it's not the, the silver bullet that's going to fix this. Uh, Justin, leaving them home alone for the day while you go off to work is different surely to ducking next door to the neighbours for 10 minutes? Oh, of course it is. And, and uh, again, it depends on how old your children are. But again, I'd be careful about leaving the kids at home to duck off to the neighbours for 10 minutes as well. Very often we'll pop out to the neighbours for what's meant to be two minutes or five minutes or ten minutes and an hour later we're still on the driveway chatting. You if know we've got really well, young Justin. kids, <laughs> <laughs> happens to me all the time, I get in so much trouble. Uh, but if we've got really young kids, we might think that it's okay to disappear for two minutes. Uh, they might not be okay. If we, maybe it's winter time and we've got a fireplace. Maybe it's summer and, and the, the pool gate hasn't been closed properly. Maybe they're cooking in the kitchen and something goes wrong. Leaving them alone at home is potentially dangerous. Now, I don't, you know, we don't need to wrap them in cotton wool and they should be able to learn to become independent, but we need to do it the right way. We need to do it step by step and consider the overall context. All right, Justin, I've got another one for you. You go to visit your neighbour for half an hour, say. What's the difference between that and letting your kid walk home alone from school? Oh, yeah, that is a tough one. So what we're dealing with here is if, if I'm going to visit my neighbour or leave my kids in the lounge room for half an hour, they are actually unsupervised. Um, if they're going to be walking to school, normally we don't let them walk to school until we feel comfortable that they're old enough. Uh, we make sure that usually there's other kids walking with them or maybe even other parents. Schools have safeguards in place as well to let you know if there has been a problem or if the child hasn't shown up or has shown up with, with difficulties. But ultimately, this comes down to just the whole general challenging issue that comes with raising kids. Raising kids is messy, it's difficult and Every child is going to be different. Every context is different. I just don't see how we can put a blanket rule out there and say when kids are eight, they're OK, but before eight, they're not, or when they're 10 or 12 or whatever it is. It's just too hard. Justin, thank you very much for your time tonight. Terrific. Thank you.